to the Jollibee himself. Oh, man. Let's roll inside. We're here at the very famous Jollibee and we're gonna go and try out their breakfast. Never done this before. We're gonna try it since New Year, so we should try new things, right? I already have all the foods here. <clears throat> we have five boxes. So, <clears throat> as you can see, we have all our dishes here today. And um, I don't really remember what, where is where. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick a box, show you first what it looks like. We're gonna open it, we're gonna try it, let you guys know the flavors, all that, all that good stuff. I guess we'll choose this box first. And yeah, we'll go from there. Number 19. No, I'm just kidding. So, okay, cool. So, this is what we have here Bumpinisa, um, garlic rice, and then the egg. All of them come with standard uh, garlic rice and egg, but this one is our is the Lampinisa version. So, we're gonna go ahead and try that. Alright, you know what? Just grab it. Mm, it's very juicy. Kind of chewy ish. So, pretty good. We're gonna combo with rice. Mm. Very tasteful. I like how it gives the rice a little kick, the garlic. And then the egg, of course. It's very delicious. Um, it's not runny, but it's not like super solid at the same time. There's that too. A little tangy. But paired with rice, the garlic rice, it kind of cancels it out. Um, cancels the juiciness out of it. Oh. I like the whole lot. Pretty good. Our next box here is. Oh, corned beef. Come on. There you are. And it just looks like, you know, typical corned beef. Not like hash corned beef. Uh, corned beef hash, just the typical. There's like onions and potatoes in it. Um, it kind of, it's own category by itself. It's not too... I mean, it looks good, for sure. I'm gonna try that first uh, by itself. Ooh. Ooh. A little kick in that salt. But, with the garlic knife, Let's pick it a step farther. Let's go ahead and mix an egg in that. So we'll have rice and egg and corned beef. Ooh, oh, finesse. Dang, that's hard to beat. It's hard to beat. Okay, cool. Box number three. We're gonna go ahead and open it. And what we have is. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's do it. This is the tocino with garlic rice and a combo nation nation. So, not gonna lie, it looks really, really, really good. Let's go into it. So, compared to the Lampanisa, this one's a little bit more. Um, reminds me of beef and broccoli style kind of thing. We got the broccoli. Mm -hmm. It's not chewy. It does kind of remind you a little bit of beef and broccoli. But it has its own little flavor. It's a little sweet. It's a little sweet. Here we go. Egg and rice. And let's do it. One, two. And ooh. It's good. Enough of that. We don't want to eat too full. Because that is too delicious. Alright. This is the beef, beef tapa. Not to be confused with the tocino, because this one's a little bit darker. Darker than that one. Mm. This one's chewy. My god, very chewy. I'll try with rice. Mm. Okay, there we go. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
egg and the rice and uh, yeah. Wow. Rice. The garlic rice mixes well with the tapa. And then of course the egg kind of just like takes it down. Or I'm sorry, takes it up a notch by kind of just mixing all the flavors together. So it makes it really, really delicious. I would say. Bam, bam. It's getting hard to beat too. I feel like they're all hard to beat. Well, within each other, of course, they you know, the breakfast and stuff. So. Oh snap, it's very famous. Chicken Joy with that garlic rice combo and that egg. Served with great pickle. You can use your hands, you should use your hands for the chicken. Because honestly, who eats spoon and fork? Or a knife with their chicken. Ooh, that flavor. So, the chicken is very juicy, but not intoxicating juice. It's like juicy, it has its own little flavor and such. Cheers. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like I said, you can use your hands, you should use your hands, but right now, we're okay. So if you just dab it a little bit on there and we'll just take a big chunk. Mm. Oh, I was so tempted to get that rice. Very good. Very delicious. You know what I just do? Who cares? It's like a reflex. You take a bite of your chicken and then you grab some rice. So, with the gravy on the chicken, obviously it's gonna be good, right? Typical. Like who eats their chicken dry? Unless you do, it's cool. But I've never had uh, fried chicken, red rice, and egg. So, um, all in one spoon fork combo. So, we're gonna try that right now. Okay, so here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So, we'll dab a little bit a, a little bit a, of gravy on here. Scoop our rice, scoop our egg. Let's do it. I'll see you guys in flavor heaven. Good. Um, I think personally for me, I think mixing them all together is not as good. You should definitely eat it separately. For sure. Just garlic rice and your chicken with the gravy, or you should eat your egg with rice. For sure. Now that we try all the dishes, I'm just gonna say that they were all delicious in their own savory way. They had their own different buffs and cakes and deliciousness in their own. Uh, but for me, what stood out the most? Box right here. Box number two, three. I don't know, I can't This one's the, the Tocino one. By far, I feel like. For me, it was that dish. This dish right here. Just because it differed from the majority of the rest of the dishes. The chicken was juicy, typical. The Lagunisa was very good. It kind of reminded me of like sausage, obviously. Um, but it's a whole different way. Uh, a tapa. That one, that one was more like beef and waffle for sure. Because you know, the, the texture and the, I guess, the appearance. And then the corned beef, uh, typical corned beef. I feel like But you know, still good. It was delicious. I'm so full. I ate like half of all of them. As you can see, I'm dead. Definitely dead. Until then, I'll see you guys next time for sure. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks so much for accompanying me on that food expedition. Jollibee was devilishly delicious. So full right now, probably gonna chill and eat some more later. And then chill and then eat some more later again. But uh, if you guys liked it, consider maybe subscribing, maybe liking, maybe commenting as well. Let me know what you guys think. As well as um, hopefully you guys have a great start to your new year. And hopefully you guys do great things. Hopefully you guys go beyond and hopefully you guys go plus. Nah, just kidding. Peace out.